Today I want to share how to use a Drupal to make online test or maybe quizzes. Now the module that I recommend and I have been using it is H5P. I don't really know the full form of H5P but uh, using this module you can create really nice looking uh, interactive content and quiz is one part of it. So let me show you today how it looks like and of course I'm talking about uh, test or quiz. I will only focus on quiz but of course you can do a few more things with uh, this particular uh, module. And of course H5P is something that you can use with Drupal but you don't have to because it is I believe uh, some it, it is an application that can work with Drupal uh, and uh, I use it for her creating a test. Now I will show you one of my tests that I, that I created just now for you guys to uh, show you how it works. So let us say if you click on a test link. So right now this is uh, basically one node and the way it works is basically you create a field using a h5p and you basically configure the field. So we'll take a look at how it works and how to configure it. I mean there's uh, there's nothing much to configure but there are a few things that you can configure. You just have to start using it by adding a field. Now the test looks like this. If you let us say want to create some quizzes which I am now planning to create on my site. So you can have uh, some true false questions or maybe you can have uh, fill in the blanks. You can also have multiple choice questions and there are a few other options. But this works quite well and uh, when you want users to take the test, they can also um, get a marking like your test results can be displayed like I failed. I mean, I failed because I have set up, the, set up the percentage, the passing percentage as 75 that you can configure. Now let me create a new test for you. So what I'll do, I'll go to the uh, content and I'll add a new test. So I'll add, uh, I'll click on the add content and I will click on the link called test. So for, for creating a new test using H5, H5P, you need to of course create a node where you can add a node title and body if you want. And of course you have a new field here that you can add. I'll, sh I'll show you the field configuration but uh, you just need to add a field and define whether you want it to be have, maybe you want this particular field to have multiple values or just one value. I have set, set it up as multiple. And when you're looking at the field here, you can basically see that this interface will give you the option to create a quiz or maybe some kind of uh, vertical stacked expandable items or maybe arithmetic quiz or chart or image collage and so on. So you can do a lot of things, but I'll focus on uh, quiz only. And for adding these additional content types of H5P, you need to install, I believe, uh, these additional libraries that you can do easily from this, from this interface. I just use the quiz, so I'll select the quiz and you can then add a title. For example, mock test. This can be the title of your quiz and uh, you can have a, you can have some kind of introduction. And uh, you can also configure things like background image or if you want. I don't want it. I want my passing, passing percentage to be 50 and then you can add questions. So let us add a multiple type, multiple choice question. So I'll just uh, add maybe two questions. Do you like my channel? So th this, is, this is the title of my question. And for each question, you basically have uh, a title, which I believe is used for searching and uh, reporting purpose or for creating reports. But I simply copy and paste the questionnaire and then you can have the options. So the options could be yes and I want this to be the correct option. No. So 
you can have these two options and then you can add maybe third option if you want i don't really want third option then you can have maybe one more question where you can have maybe true and false is my channel uh, good so i'm just adding a question the answer is uh, no so it is a statement that is either true or false so ravi sagar is a nice guy so this is my question uh, not a, yeah it is a statement but uh, you can basically have the same title repeated here and then you can have the correct answer that, that it is indeed correct ravi sagar is a nice guy true or you can set it as false up to you now you can also configure few things and these things are quite uh, easy to configure let let me just uh, save it and show you how it looks like i'll not publish it so we have a mock test it looks quite good and i have done some you know changes like i i have added this border using css which you don't have to do so do you like my channel yes ravi sagar is a nice guy true and finish and you can see the result so it is quite good and i believe for the users in case you have multiple users you can also create a create a view with their uh, points or maybe their marks but i i don't do that i keep everyone i, I keep i have kept i have let users come to the site and take these mock test or these quizzes let me show you very quickly the uh, configuration of the node so i have a specific node called test and uh, if i show you the fields i added a field called uh, i i added a field of type h5p if you look at the configurations so nothing much here let us take a look at the field settings again nothing much here let us go back and uh, we can take a look at the manage form display i'm just trying to show you how it looks like so again the, when you are of course looking at the manage form display this will be h5p editor but the good thing about uh, this module is that uh, if you're using their site i mean uh, you don't have to use drupal or maybe you have created these these quizzes or uh, the content somewhere else you can also upload the file uh, and i believe the format is or the extension is h5p only so instead of using the editor you can also upload it if you want so this is something that is really good so you don't have to use drupal to create those uh, quizzes or those you know interactive content you can do it elsewhere in their application and when you look at the manage display you can display of course the field here and uh, there is no configuration option it, it it will display the content as it is so this is quite useful and uh, i have been using it for some time i quite like it i was looking for a module in drupal in i believe in uh, drupal 7 there used to be a module called quiz if i'm not wrong but uh, i wanted to have something similar for uh, drupal 8 so i think quiz module is not yet there but this h h5p module is there and it works quite well and i quite like it i am quite you know i am i'm enjoying working on it so i thought i'll also share in case you want to do the same thing in your drupal site so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much